At least we did all we could. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Which stories are true? Who are these freemen of the Dales? Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the freemen have organized, started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. Yeah, we had that before. Anyway, it's still kind of interesting that you're like, I mean, absolutely understandable that you're upset, like dying in someone else's conflict. But then to open your own conflict and die fighting for that, like, hmm. Uh, speak to Phalanx and watch us rage. We are doing that. But I'm quite sure we asked those questions in the beginning. What is your opinion of anyway. the civil war? When I quarrel with my cousin, wine is spilled. Perhaps someone loses a tooth. When Celine feuds with hers, a country is torn apart. Does it matter to a farmer or a woodsman who reigns in Val Royale? Yet they suffer. We are all weary, Inquisitor. Tell me about your people. Simple people. Most have lost family. All have lost their homes. I found a few, helped them, found this cave for shelter. Word spread and more came. We just want to survive. I need to be mm. going. Good day then. Yeah, trying times if all you want to do is just survive. Any news, Inquisitor? The free men have been ah, defeated. Nice. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the free men gone, we can find a proper home. Algon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. No, we can ask all those questions again. New. Nope. I need to be going. Be safe. All right. Ooh, agent acquired. Is Phalanx now our, our agent? Hmm. We didn't even get an agent acquired scene. Oh, that's another quest. Hmm. Yeah, back to Skyhold, I'd say. Just for a very quick stop to sell stuff. Just selling some items and then heading back to the Emerald Graves. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Right. Um, inventory. Let's just quickly go. Uh, I mean, just look at that. We got a staff which deals half the damage, a little bit more than half the damage, but still around the half the damage of our current weapon. Same for Cassandra. We can just very quickly have a look at Blackwell. Uh, but still, one half the times. Move to valuables, move to valuables. Uh, iron ball. Yeah. Everything deals more dam uh, less damage. Gotta say, playing Argenta with no no her heresy is very roleplay. <laughs> I actually picked that for her. It's quite fun. Yeah, I mean, look at those bows. Not even dealing 100 DPS. Mm, shields. Shields might be interesting. Um... And we lose constitution and strength just for free armor rating. So I'd say no. I think this one is the the nicest one so far. Yeah, we just have nicer things already. Okay, that's it for weapons. Uh, armor. Come on, Cassandra. Already wearing the best one. Uh, let's have a look at the iron ball. Nice because it's more revealing, but doesn't help. And Blackwell, Blackwell, Blackwell. Yeah, Blackwell doesn't have the best armor. Okay, medium. Core. Core has also nice armor. Varric. Oh, this one is definitely nicer. And Sarah. Also nicer. 
You can clearly see which characters I usually take along. They have the nice equipment, obviously. Uh, we can give this one to Vivian. I don't think we're ever going to take her along, but well. Nari trained only. Here, Iron Bull. How about no? It's much, much, much worse. Wooden Helmet, Elf Dwarf, or Human. That'd be nice for uh, Cassandra. Vivian got the ugly helmet. <laughs> right. Um, accessories and Rusty Sacrifice. Chance on hit, taunt all enemies within 8 meters for 4 seconds. But a restriction rogue or mage only. We don't want to taunt enemies with rogue or mage. The War of this amulet regenerates mana or stamina at a higher rate. That can be nice, but I don't know. We want our, our warrior to taunt the enemies. Yeah, the grey ones, which are not special, we can just sell without looking at them. Not spring, life wards. Uh, so you basically just um, are resurrected once. Alright, sort of through it. Just need to go to the shop. I don't want to see you, Vivian, be gone. Here's a hat. <laughs> Hide behind it. I mean, there's a reason why we don't take Vivian with us. Ooh. And sell. Nice. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't look for a cheat to increase our um, inventory capacity. I will do so another time. I think that's how Vivian, uh, how Vivian, Oxandra says bye very often. Another time, perhaps. Hey, let's have a look at our war council. Let's see if the Sarah quest is finished. Hopefully. Please let me click. We marched with that incident. Although I have it on good authority that there were many closed doors meetings among virtual nobility. Sorry, useful names have sent diplomatic envoys, and potential future gains may be impressive. Do not, sir, do not tell Sarah I said so. Cullen. Nice. Future allies sound great. We go, we stopped at war. I got some money. Uh, support from Nevera sounds fun. Oh, well, not fun, but very useful. Mm, it takes quite some time. Oh, it's interesting to see that Josephine just became our best advisor. Look at that. About two and a half hours and three and a half hours. Hey, Josephine, do your magic. Uh, getting things moving. Many of the nobility of the Olegian capital have settled their secondary differences and are rallying behind two families. The Desrosiers are old money, well respected, but viewed as traditional and stubborn. The Thebals arose with a popular merchant consortium and are considered new money and progressive. While the intent of both families was to rival us politically, if we declare for one of them, we may manipulate events in our favour. Lord Perrin Desrosier has not asked for allegiance but may our respect our rising minds. Lady Valise the board speaks for investors and is interested in forward-thinking alliances. It would be cool if we could actually choose a side. And I mean, you know me, I would go for new and progressive. To work. Not very hard. Judgment. The magic used in Redcliffe. Agalaxius has put us to work as a magical researcher for the Inquisition. The spell he used in Redcliffe was incredibly complex. Even he doesn't understand all of the theory behind it, but he has confessed it was only possible to cast because the breach was thin. Because the breach has thinned the veil. Alexis can look into applications of the theory for safer use. Thanks. Inquisitor. Time magic. Sounds fun. Right. 
to back to the emerald graves. And I just say we continue here. And do we go down or do we go up first? Mm, I'd say we go up. So let's observe the menace. And then go for the rifts. I wonder what kind of menace it is. I mean, we have noises. Is it a demon? Or. Anyway, Dorian, Cassandra, cool. And I mean, I don't think the researcher survived, because things don't work this way in this game. But, hmm. Yeah, so probably it's like a beast or something, which then killed him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, river cam, river cam. Mm. Am I even picking up material? Oh well. If I want to craft some armor in between the sessions again. Is it? I just hope it's not up there, is it? It kinda looks like that. I don't wanna climb. I don't wanna do sports. Hmm. We'll find a way. It will work out. And area. The heck is. Ah, the sun was in the pond. Go. Fire! Even more fire! Come on! Explode! And... There we go! Disrupt! Ooh, another pride demon! Come on! Yes! No, we can kill the ice one! No, we can't. It was a very short stun period. It usually feels longer. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I'm the wrong one. No. Alright, Pride Demon. Now what's your time? Interesting that they deal electricity damage. Because, I mean, I can understand that rage is associated with fire, and fear is associated with um, coldness, so ice, but like pride, and electricity. Guess they just had another element like that. Alright, I did. I don't think we will reach level 18 in this area, but we will certainly get closer to that. Uh, yeah, before we cross the river, I want to have a look for the menace. They even put a beacon there. I can't see that one. Where is it? Oh no, I have to climb up there. How? How do I get up there? Interesting paintings. I wonder what they're supposed to be. It just looks like skeletons of animals. Are they wolves? Oh hey, you're not hostile. We've been scouting the region, your worship. I you're not. Here. You may find hmm, but I'm not sure how to get up there. It is so high. I don't need to get up there. Ah, the rest. Search for the second river camp. So now we have to look at all the places where he was. 
The Great Mission, Day 6. The stormy menace makes noise like a provoked cat at intervals of 1 hour 50 minutes. It is surrounded by four swirling wraith-like demons. I've named them Primus, Secundus, Tertius, and Dummy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the first three orbit the menace like patrolling guards. Dummy follows, but often pauses and heads in a different direction. Very occasionally, he tours around like a lost man trying to find his bearings. The Great Mission, Day 8. Must be careful. A passing deer drew the attention of Dummy. For once, he demonstrated a tremendous purpose. Felt almost proud. The pride was quickly replaced by great distress, observing what followed. The deer should not bend that way. Yikes. But I mean, given the first entry, I think it's just a... A uh, pride demon. The Great Mission, Day 10. Another menace seen farther down the river. It seems it's infancy. No demons. I believe I have enough knowledge of the behavior of the menaces to attempt destro to destroy one. I will attempt this with the nation menace. Caution is key. I don't know if you survived this, my friend. But hey, we'll have to go for that on the river. I wanted to go there anyway. So let's go to the rift. Um, there's more lyrium. I thought we destroyed all the deposits. Hmm. Okay, rift. Um, another smuggler letter. And then let's investigate more lyrium. I don't want to deal with you. Where can we climb up? Probably further down the river, I'd say. Down, 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 by the river. <laughs> nice, this an entry? It is, nice. You could write, right? Right, right. Near. And off we go. That's just raves. You know, Pride Demon. Maybe he's in the second wave. All using shields. Go. Let's get a little bit closer and use our blade. Down here, don't jump away, don't jump away. Yeah, he jumped away, but it was okay. He let me strike first. Down here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're driving me insane, my friend. Come here. Um, stop jumping. Ah. Make it take you. Boy. I think that was the worst one foot so far regarding jumping around, getting out of reach. Oh, disrupt, disrupt, disrupt. Done. And I mean, the bright limits are also the only ones who actually laugh. Uh, cool, random spikes attacking me. Actually could be the last rift in this area. But I don't know, sometimes you uncover more things um, on a subject in camp. So go and look for the last letter. Though it kind of feels like we already found out everything about um, the Templars and the smugglers. The Emerald Graves also have a dragon at level 17. Ooh. Interesting. Where is the dragon? I mean, so far we didn't see or hear anything. Oh, is this researcher maybe looking for the dragon? 
Why would we race around a dragon? Hey Alistair, nice to see you. How are you? Don't talk to me about BG3, I just had to delete my current character. Oh no, why? How did that happen? Sorry. Here. I think this is actually just the third stand we're fighting, right? And there, there's more than one. Hmm. We're actually just looking for letters. Here. I don't really get, like, the knees, I think, having also, like, um, health bars. Because you can't, you can target them, but it's still the same health bar. Go. Fire. And the giant in the background is just mining their own business. Anything interesting to loot, my big friend? That is great stuff. Plush Fustian Velvet. Hmm, maybe that's interesting. I actually really don't know. Ah, hey, but here we have the letter. Letter to Smugglers Wagon Masters. Among the papers taken from the Red Lyrium Smugglers in the Dales is a note from the ringleader to his lieutenants. Beware the Red Lyrium. Our mage claims it's much more potent than the blue. Like serving brandy in an ale tankard, he says. Two nights later, he went crazy, frothing and screaming. We had to lock him in the warehouse. Looks like Lyrium madness, but comes on faster. It's not all bad. Our new client, Samson, has his agents buying anyone who gets sick. Or gold. And they bought the mate. Oh, wow. So you're not only smuggling Lyrium, but also you're just selling people who are afflicted by it? Great. When they bought the mage, asked why. Some of people said to make something better of him. For what they're paying, he must have something bloody spectacular lined up. Have the men be extra careful around the crates. Tell me if any come down sick. Keep the why to yourselves. Kels. Another letter mentioning Samson. And papers with names. Cullen could use this. Mm. Take the smugglers letters to Cullen. It just doesn't sound good. My characters start randomly giving me Dark Urge cutscenes in dialogue when I'm not the Dark Urge and Mephara just refused to have a Roman scene and her dialogue was glitched talking about the Emperor all the time. I was getting too much spoiled for the Dark Urge campaign. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that. That was so buggy. Weird. Seems like kind of more bugs appearing with the latest Border Escape 3 uh, patches. <laughs> So yeah, are you just starting a new character, or what's your plan? I also understand if you're just frust too frustrated at the moment. Uh, where did you even find the stone, my friend? It wasn't lying there. Oh. Oh. Nice, and another one. Here? Nice. I never really looked at the faces. Interesting. Very primal. Anyway. Yeah, I will just walk to the Red Lyrium deposit. Despite it not being a quest anymore? I don't know, I'm confused. In the the other question is like also how to get there. Maybe it's a good idea that I haven't really played BG3 since the update. Uh, maybe. I really hope they're fixing that. Can we go there? Uh, it looks looks like the right crossing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, right. We will find our way. Ah, there's the beacon. And there's some red lyrium. And some red templars. <gasps> and probably some alcohol. 
Because I mean, our minimap is blinking. Okay. Where did you come from and why your style? I mean, playing Dark Urge also sounds fun, so I hope that's going to work out for you, Alistair. Have fun with that. Here we go. Nice. Why didn't the glyph explode? Why do all those bear-like monsters, by the way, have so much health? They're so freaking tanky. It doesn't work like that. Just because you're big, it doesn't mean you have more HP. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sh actually not sure if it's going to be alcohol. It is. Oh well, 15 out of 29. Getting Elden Ring PTSD from giant bears in games. <laughs> nice. Cole, do you have any proof about what you claim Lord Giga Lambert did? I was there. I didn't need proof. But he could have been brought to justice. There are rules. He used rules to hurt people. He always found a way to be right, even when he killed my friend. Oh. You had a friend? A pretty Templar. She died protecting Reese and me. But she got better. I don't even want to know what that means. Oh, oh such a tragic backstory. Okay, let's go for the second cam. But before we do that, let's go for the level ups. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. The Twitch overlay is bugging. And covering like the whole screen. <laughs> Let me just restart that. Um, before that, I'm just going to level up. Cassandra. There we go. Hey, seems like a long ride. I heard Paladin Dirt is also quite funny and has a unique dialogue. I guess so. I just heard that. Um, at least, I don't know, is that a spoiler? Mm, I just heard that at some point, like, your Dark Urge actions also can be, uh, can potentially break your oath. Which sounds interesting. Because, I mean, if you want to resist the urges, you have, like, two kinds of redemption going on. Like, reclaiming your oath and all that. How did they all respawn again? I don't want to fight them. Ugh, every, everything everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I want those big points. Hmm. We just fought against one of them. And it was... Well, not too hard, but also not very easy. Or it was not a good idea to fight against two of them at the same time. They have different levels. How? Gosh, stop it! Stop throwing me down! It was a bad idea. At this moment, he knew he fucked up. Stop punching me! Why got your issues alone? <laughs> Why are you just harassing me? What is it about me? Wait, did this... No. This animal thingy monster 
didn't join the fight. Ah! Why is he just focused on me? I didn't even attack you in the last five minutes, which is forever in this game. Here we go. Ah, uh, maybe because of the runes and stuff. One, ah. One dead. Oh. Come on, Dorian. Help call. At least Dorian is having fun. Oh no. Poor Cole. Oh. Okay, it could just get worse if like this giant here uh -huh. also joins the party. I know I'm very interesting, but can you go and talk to other people? Why the heck is he just focusing me? Here we go. Did he just walk through the stone arch? Okay. Yeah, Cole, I would help you, but I think the giant would just crush me. Oh, let's give it a try. Here we go. Come on, go. Yeah, I'm just the giant's favorite. Here we go. Ooh, finally. We did it. Come on, Cole. Are you seriously? Why? That seems kind of weird. Sometimes when you um, exit battle, it just seems like your companions just, I don't know, are in the mood to also fight the white life. Oh well. Come here, wherever you are. The giants wanted to play with you as a ball. I kind of don't like. Uh. Did he, did you just charge and turn around while doing that? This is not how charging works. Gosh. Okay, party, can we please stop attacking wildlife? They just pulled another one of those into the fight. Uh. Okay, well, let me just disable the overlay Bronto. I no, now know how that pulls. I kind of feel like we're just very close to putting another one up here. Of course. Well, I guess we will have quite nice food tonight. Here we go. Alright, see you later, Juniper. Enjoy your food. Hope you have something nice. Let's see if once you come back, I'm still fighting this fight. Can, can you? Oh come on! Seriously? They are spawning one after another and just immediately hostile. And now we have another giant there. What the heck? I just wanted to take the waypoints. And there's so many landmarks. And why do I still keep calling them that waypoints? Oh, you're not hostile, are you? You know what? We're just going to walk a little bit away, because I don't want to just keep on fighting against them. And. Then we're trying to approach sneaky. But at least that giant seems to be pretty chill. Uh, Cole, how about you come with us? Come on, Cole. Ah, are we chill now? I don't think so. That Bronto doesn't look chill. Here we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, we need new health potions. Just cause of you! Oh. 
Come on, Cole. Get up again. Still got to fight. Did they even drop something interesting? Pass and fight. Here. Boom. Alright. Finally the battle is over, so let's go and take those. Let's go on to call on waypoints. Landmarks. Hi, giant. Don't mind me. Just putting some spears into the ground. Why am I even doing that? We don't get XP for that or anything. Just the small part of me who likes to play 100%. Okay, giant, please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How far can you jump? Oh, gosh. Run. Hold on, Cole. Does anyone know how to remove a giant bloody sacrifice circle? Asking for friends. Oh boy. Do I even need to ask what you did in VG3? I think not. You know what? We're leaving those landmarks alone. <laughs> 